I'm Doug Hayden. This is Kim Hayden. Uh, we came down uh, from Calgary, Alberta. We actually drove down to Calgary, Alberta. Two-day drive. Okay, so I've been researching online, much, much to uh, Doug's chagrin, and uh, I, I knew that I needed to get dental work done. I've been putting off for nearly four years, and I didn't realize how bad my one tooth had gotten. So I got went online, I started searching. Sandy had uh, video testimonials like this, and one of the gals was from Saskatchewan, and I was able to go on Facebook and verify that she's actually a real person and not just like an actor that they hired. Um, and then I happened to, we bought a purse for me at a craft fair. The lady who was selling purses was a retired nurse in Calgary, and her friend, who is a retired nurse in Seattle, actually had come to Sani, and so that's why we decided to come to Sani. So, yeah. just referrals. Yeah, referrals, and it seemed to have a good reputation. So I had a, um, they did a crown and a cleaning. Um, our daughter and son came with us, so there was a whole family that came down. So our daughter had some wisdom teeth pulled and cleaning, and then our son also had a cleaning, and then Kim had actual surgery. So I ended up with 23 stitches, got in there. Um, I came in saying, okay, I want the implant, I want this, I want that done. And the oral surgeon actually looked after he went and looked at it all and he said, no, we're not going to do all that because we cannot risk your sinus cavity. It's to the infection is too close to the sinus cavity. So the bill is actually even less than what I thought it was going to be. Um, and I have an excuse to come back to Mexico for a week in May. So he was, this, he was great. He didn't just do what I was telling him to do. He said, no, this is what we need to do. And everything they used in, Everything was in a sanitation wrapper. Everything was clean. It was just like if I was, the only difference between here and the dental office, in, there's two. One, there's no snow here. And two, there's no cappuccino maker in the office. Aside from that, you know, and I don't need a cappuccino maker. I don't drink cappuccino. Yeah, so, and the, the dentists were, were really good. They're amazing. Everything's so. efficient. And that's what, yeah, but, yeah. everything's efficient. Everybody has a specialty. So it's not just one person doing everything for you. They all work in teams. They say, you need this, 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 and this. And you're gonna go, this doctor is the specialist here, this doctor is the specialist here, this doctor is the specialist here. Everybody was lovely. I, I was happy. Um, so, okay, so uh, here's what I'll give you. So okay, but I was really nervous coming down here, right? Another country, Mexico, so you don't know kind of what to expect. So yeah, I was, uh, I was definitely kind of hypersensitive to what was going on. Kind so of. Kind but of. A couple of things. One is everybody was really friendly. Um, did, and everybody did the absolute best they could to make sure that you were comfortable and happy uh, with the work. And they would, they would ask you repeatedly, you know, is, are you comfortable? Uh, does that work for you? And then even with mine, I had a crown done and the coloring wasn't quite to my liking. So they actually sent it back out and brought it back all within an hour. So uh, everything was redone. What's so. interesting is a lot of our dental products that we do use in Canada, like the retainers and stuff like that, all come from here. So it's like, yeah, it's, but we're the just, staff, the yeah. staff was, and everybody seemed to be very knowledgeable, not just in what they were doing, but knowledgeable in us and who our doctors were. So at any time, if I had a question about scheduling or anything, Everybody seemed to know exactly where we were supposed to be and who we were supposed to be with. We feel valued. I, I really yeah. feel like I've been valued. Yeah. Was, they took it personal. Okay, so it met my expectations, but Doug, tell us. Now, just so you know, Doug was like, ugh, leaving Calgary, freaking out. Oh my God, oh my God, we're going to Mexico for what? So Doug, tell us, what was your expectations? I, well, okay, and so expectations, I was just, I was just on high alert the whole time, right? So just like, you know, checking to see is anything sketchy or whatever. But it's not okay. So you gotta, yeah, you have to be honest with yourself too. If you're coming down here from Canada, you're coming here. You're in Mexico. It's it is going to be a bit different. The people are amazing. The town is really sweet. Everybody's really nice in the town, which which surprised me. We are not staying here, but next time, 100%, we would stay here. Sandy actually has a hotel. We're actually filming this at the hotel. We're, for sure, we would stay here the next time. But um, anyway, the town's really nice. Um, like I said, it is not Canada. It is a little bit different how it operates here. You just have to get comfortable with that. That was the only thing. Once I was comfortable with the way things operated here, more than happy to kind of, you know, work their schedule. And they were they were working everything for us. So I can't say enough that. Way.
Okay, and I got everybody was really sorry, but everybody wanted to make sure you were really happy with the work. Okay, okay. Well, we got to get this on record. Doug, was I right about coming to Mexico for dental? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, yes. Well, so we're everybody. And you don't have to drive. We drove. You know, well <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's hard to say because the problem right now is for Canadians. If it was a straight U.S. dollar exchange, like for what you pay in the U.S. to come here, right, versus what you pay in the U.S. with a dentist, I'd say yeah, there's probably seventy percent or better. But our currencies are fluctuating so much. But I would still say I would say we say way over fifty percent. Way over fifty percent, and, and that's including the trip. Trip. So we so it's not just the dentist. Yeah. All in. We drove our Suburban, which has like 435,000 kilometers on it. It's our old trusty Suburban. We've driven it all over the United States and brought the kids down. And so we've spent, we'll spend a total of about $500 round trip on fuel and then, you know, accommodations. And, and we've eaten most of our like meals just and it's like really low cost. Very inexpensive to eat here. Yeah, so it's, it's, yeah, and, and it's stay. a great yeah. vacation. Even yeah. with the dental work and but 23 yeah. stitches. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so including our travel costs, over 50%. So, and, and, and it could be as high as 70, but I'd say it's probably more like 60. So, for the Canadians. If we're American, we do more <laughs> yeah. money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I would say is like, um, yeah, you're gonna, if it's the first time, you know, do a bit of research. Um, I did way more research coming down here than I ever would in Calgary on a dentist. Um, but once you're here and you, you, you've been through the process, uh, we'd come back 100%. Actually, we're going to come back. So, in May. Yeah, yeah, we'll be coming back once a year, no matter what kind of thing. Twice but, a year. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's worth the trip and, you know, just don't be scared. Everybody, all the dentists were just amazing. They're all highly skilled, highly trained. A Blew me away. Them. Some of them come from other countries, come here and, and learn. It's, it's anyway. I was just amazed at the dentistry. Yeah.